All right, uh, hello all. Uh, I'm proud to present a uh, another uh, Linux Arch Linux distribution spin uh, called Linux GT, and it's uh, a concept by Brett Stevens. And uh, I'm going to feature the Evolution AIS installer, Evolution Linux. This is the older one um, because uh, SourceForge is down right now. So this is the March release, I think. Uh, so in VirtualBox, it's not too bad. But on your main system, uh, depending on your graphics card, this, this may not work, unfortunately. Um, so you could have to install Arch Linux in a, um, a different way. So with that said, um, first of all, we'll set up our Arch Linux system, and then the second part will be installing uh, the Linux GT, and it's all going to be from uh, GitHub or GitHub, and I'll provide the links, and of course, I'll step through the process of un installing it. So we'll we'll start with the uh, Evolution Linux, and Alt I or right click the menu to start the installer. So Alt I for me. Give it some time. Uh, click the stable. Hit hit enter for stable, and it'll uh, just prompt you for various things in your language, and we'll uh, sync the mirrors, which is going a little slow right now. Once the mirror list has been uh, synced for the first time, we prepare the installa installation. So uh, set your keyboard layout to whatever you're using, and I want to configure the mirror list by country. And wait for that to generate, and then Control Q to close, and enter for yes. And uh, list disks, I don't uh, devices, I don't need to. So I'm going to go on to partition disk. I should zoom in on this a bit. So it's option four, and one device on this system. If you have more than one hard drive, it would be like if you had two hard drives, your first one would be SDA, and the second one would be SDB. If you had three, SDE, and so on. So Obviously, one hard drive in VirtualBox, so I just press Enter for OK. Gparted is fine. More than fine. Uh, since this is nothing here, we have to go to Device, Create a Partition Table. Um, I'm going to use the MS-DOS method, and then I'm going to create a new extend, extended partition, partition extension 4. Uh, that's the way I usually set my... Uh, Arch Linux or any Linux is just one partition for everything because I use a solid state drive basically. So I click apply and then apply and let it do its thing. Close and we'll close open box. Um, sorry, G part. It's <laughs> so many things going through. Uh, I don't want to use uh, LVM um, logical volume management. So we're going to mount the partition SDA1 extension 4. Give it a second and no swap file for me. That's up to you. You could um, make sure you um, allocate that in uh, Gparted or whatever you're using. So I'm going to hit none and press OK. Go back, install base, refresh the Pac-Man keys. I always do that, um, just in case you never know. Install base and uh, be sure to get the latest kernel and the base dash deval packages. So. I'll just let this uh, run through. All right, so up next uh, is install the bootloader. Um, oh, make sure I highlight that. Press Enter. I always use Grub2. It downloads Grub2 and OS Prober, uh, so it will pick up if you have another um, operating system. And make sure you pay attention. Uh, do you want the uh, root of your hard drive to be a SDA? In this case, yes, but if you're installing Arch on a different hard drive, you might want to choose SDB or, or SDE or, or whatever if you want to keep it separate from another operating system. So in this case, I choose yes and it just generates the scrub file. I uh, don't need wireless firmware, so I'm going to uh, select the option 5, go back. Configure the base, uh, generate a file system table. I always use, in my case, if you're, if you're using uh, EUFI, and you might want to choose option three, but I'm just going to use uh, the first option. Set your host name, in this case in VBox, anything you want there. 
set the time zone. Uh, you can uh, choose what you wish here. Uh, system locale, again, where you are. It's a little cryptic, but <laughs> you, you can usually work it out. So e English and whatever uh, languages you need. You just need to choose one option and press enter. And, well, we can set a virtual console. Um, just for now. Anything random, go back. Now I configure your user accounts and set your root password. And we go back and install desktops. Uh, now we're going to skip installing a desktop environment and, that, um, and the login screen, but we're going to get the, the graphics input sound drivers and usually also Zorg and XF86 input. So that'll take a little bit of time, not too long to download. When it's finished, it's going to ask you if, uh, which uh, de uh, video device you're using. Um, in my case, it uh, picked up VirtualBox because that's what I'm using. Select no for NVIDIA drivers. Again, remember this is an older uh, ISO because I can't grab the newest one. So um, I'm going to select VirtualBox in this case, but select no or whatever uh, video card you're using uh, to install it. All right, so we're going to skip install desktop environments. Uh, on the network connection manager, we're going to use DHCPCD, and I'll address that in a minute um, once this is finished. Uh, skip the login screen, and we'll go back. Install, that's up to you if you want accessibility package. Then you run your MK init file. And under option eight, review configuration files. I usually do that and I'm going to look at the mostly the sudoers. Um, this is what I my preference. So I'll just page down. Not a bit. Where it has uh, wheel equals all all. I usually comment that out. So and then uncomment no password and save and quit. And that should be it for the installer. So we'll just uh, Go all the way down to the end, back, and done, and close installer. So that what that just did was unmounted the uh, partition, but that's my the partition drive, yeah. So that's fine. So Alt and T to open a terminal, and uh, just type SU, and we're going to remount uh, device SDA one to slash MNT. And we uh, ch root into that. Uh, there's a few things I want to do. First of all, I want to get uh, dialog. So nano Etsy v console. Yeah, it's there. Okay, I'm gonna change this whole thing. <laughs> Forget the key map. I'm gonna put uh, font equals i. Oops, equals ISO 02 dash 12 by 22 that's for me for my eyesight <laughs> so I write out with control O press enter and control X to exit and I also edit gonna edit the uh, grub file so nano Etsy default uh, slash grub and again just for me make things easier is the graphics mode where it says auto I just backspace there and I put uh, 1024 by 768 and write that out and exit and then regenerator grub uh, configuration file uh, dash o slash boots grub grub dot cfg Okay, and that's it for uh, this portion. So I'm going to just uh, close this out. So exit, emount, dash MNT, dash capital R, R, exit the uh, root, and exit the terminal. So I'll be back uh, when uh, um, in the Arch Linux installation. Okay, so everything went well. Um, thanks to the Evo Evolution installer. Um, it's always great to use. Uh, so I'm at my user uh, prompt, obviously. I did forget to get something um, when I was ch rooted, uh, but it doesn't matter. We can get it through uh, Pac-Man. First of all, I'll make sure our mirror list is working. 
dash s y our connection okay it's working that's good and I forgot to get JIT just one thing JIT and or git whatever you want to call it all right after installing that uh, I brought up the web page uh, the JIT site um, that this project's uh, located I have to update the readme uh, this is completely out of date uh, but these are all the packages it's about close to 80 megabytes which isn't too bad um, so what we have to do is type in um, in our console is this address HTTPs github.com and then my username and Linux GT uh, so we'll go ahead and do that and I'll obviously post a link to this site you can look over and any other suggestions or whatever you can uh, feel free to add them so back at our uh, Arch Linux install I'll clear the screen and we'll zoom in and the command is JIT clone no tab completion here sorry uh, HTTPs as it mentioned and then the uh, JIT hub dot com that's universal and then the username mid finger slash Linux GT and press enter and it'll take a little bit of time not too long to download as I said it's about 80 megabytes or so okay so it's been downloaded and just LS and you see Linux GTs there and you can LS the uh, directory okay and all we have to do is you can see a whole bunch of directories but all you have to do is just a ch mod and plus x Linux GT dash I mean slash INS for install and you just run that command and press enter this will synchronize everything and it will download uh, the Linux uh, GT desktop and configuration files and uh, copy a few things over and uh, so on so I'll let this uh, finish up and I'll be back okay so you're gonna have to give that some time to download and install it's quite a few packages and when it's finished it comes up with a dialogue that's why I downloaded beforehand is to it's a reminder mostly for me but also if you wish you can change it I'll go through the steps uh, edit the make config file and the journal D dot config file so what I suggest doing if you don't want to lose this dialogue and you're not sure what that is just press in virtual box it's right control and F2 on your main system be usually control alt F2 so I'm just gonna switch another console terminal um, and log in as my user and I'm just going to sudo I'll zoom in nano etsy make dot c on app and I mentioned this in the last video about uh, the architecture where you can uncomment certain things to help building packages so the first one is make flags hit the delete there um, to get rid of the pound sign and whatever you're if you want if you have you can leave it as J2 if you have uh, four processors you just add one so it'd be J5 uh, and as I mentioned before I usually allocate six cores so in my case it would be J7 adding one and paste down to where you have build directory and Arch Linux temporary uh, it will build in memory if you assign enough memory if not then just leave that comment out and then compressions XZ um, as I said has been um, in the latest Arch Linux builds so I'm just going to type in T dash T and the number six for six scores or you can leave it at zero or just leave it out completely but it just helps building extra packages so control O and control X and then we're gonna sudo nano slash Etsy system D journal D dot C O N F and we'll just go down to where it says system max use and depending on much hard drive space and if you're using a solid state drive 
100 megs to 50 megs. So I usually use 50 megabytes. So 50 and a capital M. And I'll save and exit out of there and we can get out of this terminal. So if you're done with this dialog, just press OK and clear the screen. And uh, no, our, just one more thing, sorry, not clear the screen, is uh, you have to uh, run AUR underscore INS. So it's actually um, Linux GT slash AUR underscore INS and press enter. Okay. Zoom in so you can see that. All right, and then press enter. And it takes some time to load some packages. And these are the Arch Linux user repository packages, which I just uh, compiled and uploaded to GitHub. Um, so chances are they won't fail in building, hopefully. <laughs> so uh, just let it run. It'll take a little bit of time. So that should pretty much uh, be it for installing. So we can just uh, issue a reboot or a shutdown if you want to remove any media you have. And uh, uh, log into uh, Linux GT. So in this case, I'm going to just uh, reboot the system and uh, we'll see, well, see you on the other side. So here we are at the uh, login screen for Linux uh, GT. You have your own username and your own password and you just uh, type in your password and log in. Uh, don't worry too much about the uh, the way the screen looks is because uh, it's this is in VirtualBox. You won't see that on your main system. Uh, but this is the desktop, obviously. Uh, the documentation, I'm going to have to update. <laughs> uh, a lot of this stuff is not is not needed or completely out of date. Um, the Infinality font bundle, I would uh, recommend installing that. And post install, you can go through most of this. So a quick run through the system. I've included the, uh, you know, the clock and time, uh, the volume control, which is pulse audio. So there you go. Uh, the uh, I just set it to New York uh, for the weather. You just click on it and right click to configure it, and you can change and you can type in a. A zip code postal code so I'm just going to click cancel I'm going to leave this as, as it is I'm assuming that this uh, keyboard handler will pick up on what uh, country you're in um, this is of course uh, network manager and network manager I also included NTP which will uh, go out and uh, sync to the uh, a clock so you're fairly accurate and time-wise according to your country that you set up. Uh, this here is uh, PAMAC system updater. Of course this is a clipboard parcelet manager and there's a little system monitor. It's not doing much and you see the terminal Google Chrome show the desktop and Sunar file manager and I've added in uh, open terminal here and open as administrator. Same thing on the file system open as administrator if you need to. I've also included the programs directory in case you want to look uh, to where most applications go. It's called uh, applications but I just renamed it to programs and you see what's on the system. And right here is uh, Slings Cold. You can uh, uh, launch it by clicking on it or control space to bring it up. Now it's not so great in VirtualBox again so um, when you scroll back and forth, sometimes it doesn't respond properly. However, I, I did include the uh, control panel that I mentioned a couple of uh, videos ago. So, LXDE Control Center. You have an activity log manager. You can uh, tell this to turn off certain things. You can uh, delete usage history if you want, or you completely uh, turn this off, as I just mentioned. Um, add remove software. Software that's the PAMAC. Uh, change the theme. There's only one here, and the color you can do that because Alex Tass is running. You, that's up to you. Icon theme is New Mix Circle. Uh, the font cursor is default. You can change that. The font does finally work. It's a slight RGB if you wish, and other is fine. And we'll just close that. And uh, the most important thing is this LX session settings. 
um, web browser. I left it as it is in case you don't want to use Google Chrome, but if you do, just make sure that's enabled and to handle these uh, types of files, MIME, MIME types, and press OK. And image viewer, I included GPIC view, and that's again up to you. You can uh, choose another one and then uh, reopen this menu. And core applications, window manager is obviously, if you haven't guessed by now, it's Compiz. <laughs> and auto start, you have the LX panel, PC man FM to handle the desktop. Okay, uh, X screensaver included. Uh, if you wish to use that, you can uncheck and or remove it, whatever you want. There is a login sound. It didn't play because I have to turn it off when I'm recording. It won't, uh, or else my uh, audio won't work. Numlock X is to turn the uh, numlock on your keyboard on. And here's the uh, applications that are starting, which uh, screenlets, which is what this thing is here. If you don't like it, you just uh, quit all and just remove it from the startup. But I have it here for the documentation. Okay, so the default file manager is Sunar, but handling the desktop and things like this is PC Man FM. Uh, if you use your mouse wheel back and forth, that'll go between desktops, Control Alt, and arrow key back and forth. Okay, I left out the Expo key. Uh, the desktop zoom works, but um, XFCE4 is taking over here. But I do have desktop zoom enabled, I believe. So you can go back to, you can either choose this control center, just the uh, configuration settings, and the commands here. I have uh, slings cold. You can edit these of different uh, binding if you want. Uh, leaf pad, sunar, LX task, and logout which I believe is control um, alt e so alt e will bring up the uh, logout LXDE session okay and wallpapers are changing every minute you can change that through the compass settings manager so um, that should wrap up pretty much Linux GT uh, July 2015 edition I hope you enjoy it, and please let me know if you, anything you want to see or anything you want added. Um, I can make uh, relevant changes on the JIT repository. Uh, I find this way a little better because the main advantages to this is you can have your own username and your own locale and everything partition set the way you want and still have this work. But... Uh, the disadvantage, of course, is if you don't have enough bandwidth, you know, you can't download things and stuff. Um, but I can make changes on the JIT repo, and you can re-download uh, certain files that you need and just replace them. So that should wrap it up for this one, I think. And again, uh, thank you so much for watching. And please let me know um, if you install this, how you do. And uh, I'll... Uh, make any changes uh, that I might have to. Okay, so again, thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.